the history of football in 90 seconds. That's a uh, soccer for us Americans. The ancient Greeks played a game called Episkyros, which the Romans would steal, much like they did everything, and call Papa Stone. When they invade Britain, the Romans bring their game with them. In its earliest form, football was mob-like and much more violent. Players also used an inflated pig's bladder, and in at least one recorded case, a human head. In 1308, Irish records tell of a spectator at a football game being charged with accidentally stabbing a player. Things get so bad that in 1363, King Edward III bans football and cockfighting from the entire country. The pigs and the chickens rejoice, but the people keep playing in secret. 1613, King James officially unbans football, urging everyone to play Sunday after church. In the 1800s, English schools start establishing official rules, but not every school agrees. Rugby school wants a more violent game, where you can pick up the ball. This evolves into a completely different game, which you could guess the name of. However, most children can't play football, spending six days a week working in factories and inspiring Charles Dickens novels. This changes with the Factory Act of 1850. Now children only have to work from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Big difference. The English start to grow their empire, bringing football, and some persecution, around the world. Football becomes so popular that in 1900 it is added to the Olympics. In 1904, France, the Fédération Internationale de Football Association, is founded. 1930, FIFA holds its first World Cup in Uruguay, bringing all the nations, on its good side, together in competition. The World Cup has been played every four years ever since. Thank you.